Well, good morning. Today is Monday, January 3rd, and it's time for our weekly meeting highlights. This week is the first thing you should do in 2022 is to set yourself up for success. But we always start off with how I did the previous week. Uh, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I had um, I had a bad, not a bad, I had a good time. <laughs> I had a good time during the holidays, and I gained between Thanksgiving and this morning, 7.4 pounds. But let's see how I did this previous week. I'm really proud of myself. I lost 2.8 pounds, so my total loss is 68 pounds. I weighed 236.2. Uh, the Monday before Thanksgiving, I weighed 228.8. And so that shows that I gained 7.4 over the holidays. I uh, I not only picked up weight during the holidays, I picked up a little bit of a cold, so you can uh, tell in my voice it's a little uh, nasally. I feel fine. I really do feel fine. I know that somebody uh, on my daily vlog had told me that I should get tested for COVID, like the Omicron virus. Now, I'm doubly vaccinated, and I have a booster. So um, it's quite possible quite possible I picked up an Omicron, or however you ever say that, whatever that virus name is. It's quite, let's see, I gotta get his hand out of the shot. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, it's quite possible I might have picked up a virus. I was with like family, friends, eating out, shopping, all of that. Um, I'm not going to go get tested to find out whether I have it or not, because, you know, everything I read online is, if it's a mild case, which I feel that's what I have is a mild case, uh, there's not anything you can do for it other than treating it like it's the flu or the cold. So um, I've been eating healthy and uh, drinking lots and lots of fluids, getting pl plenty of rest, um, not coming in contact with any other people. So um, I think that, uh, you know, I'm feeling okay. I really am feeling okay. And I think that the reason I lost weight is not so much that I was sick, because trust me, I, that's why I think I just have a cold because it's like starva, fever, feed a cold. Oh, I fed my cold. <laughs> Let me tell you, I fed. It didn't stop me from eating, but I made healthy choices because I wasn't feeling well. And I thought I got to build up my build my immunity system back up. So I eat lots of fruits and lots of vegetables. Um, I had, you know, a healthy amount of grains. Like I said, plenty of water. Uh, I ate just my three meals a day and I snacked on healthy food choices like apples or um bananas or things like that. So uh, I think that led to my 2.8 loss and I'm going to continue on. Sorry, I got to take a little bit of water. But uh, my word for the year is hopeful. I'm hopeful that um, I'm going to do well this year. I'm going to set myself up for success. I, um, I'm not going to strive for a certain number at a certain time. Like I I do want to reach 100 pounds. I do want to reach Wonderland, but I'm not going to set a set goal date for that. Um, my goal this year is just to um, enjoy my life, enjoy my family and friends after I feel better, <laughs> and uh, um, and just just strive to do well each week as far as making healthy food choices and either staying the same or if I lose a little bit, I'm fine with that. But uh, I just think that uh, I last year I set some unrealistic goals for me, myself and. Uh, and, and I know I can do better. And I, I proved to myself this past week, we didn't go out for New Year's Eve. So um, I didn't have any excuses after Christmas. The Christmas cookies were all gone. All the treats were gone. So um, I'm, I'm on my way to success. But let's see what Weight Watchers is telling us what we need to do. Um, motivated and ready to take on 2022? Of course we are. Of course. Psychology calls this phenomenon a fresh start effect. We're more likely to take action at this time of year, but you can lose momentum if your goals are too vague. Uh, I understand about my goals being vague. I do understand that. But I don't think that telling myself that uh, I'm going to just strive to just lose whatever weight I can rather than a set amount, I think that's really going to work for me. I'll be right back. I'm sorry. Sorry about that. I was in the middle of a group text, and so I wanted to get out of that. <laughs> because it just kind of annoys me when it flips up on the screen. But anyway, to maintain this can-do vibe all year, take some time this week to decide on your why. Um, my why this year is just um, just to realize that I'm 71. I want to lose my weight. I really wish I would have lost my weight when I was younger. But uh, I want 
to be able to get into my 80s, maybe 99 like Betty White. Um, and the only way I'm going to do that is by eating healthy, making smarter choices, getting the right amount of exercise, not sitting in a chair like a big log all the time, and uh, which I have been doing because of the weather. Um, I usually walk down the basement, but my son Jimmy's building a house, and so his my basement is now a storage locker, <laughs> so I have no place to walk down the basement. And it's been really snowing and icing lately, but... Um, it sounds like I'm making excuses, and then really, that's what it is, excuses. I can figure out ways. I can watch YouTube videos. I can do chair exercises. There's all a whole lot of things I could do, uh, which I'm going to start trying to do a little bit more. The more specific you make your why, the more it can help you to reach your goals. Instead of saying, I want to be healthy, maybe it's I want to feel better when I wake up in the morning so I can enjoy my time with my family. I, for the last seven weeks since Thanksgiving, can honestly say that I have not been waking up feeling as good as I have in the past. And the reason being is the fact that I haven't eaten healthy. And so my body kind of rebelled. And I think that's, once again, another reason I got sick is because I wasn't eating healthy. And um, that's not the only reason, but, you know, it adds to the reasons. But um, I, I just, I, I find that since, even though I'm not feeling well, I still wake up feeling a lot better than I did when I was eating all the cookies and the candy and all of that stuff. So uh, if you got a goal, here's how to break it down. Ready to tackle a resolution? Use the STAR method to create a weekly behavioral goal which can propel you to your ultimate target. The STAR is the S is for st uh, is be specific, T is for truly doable, A is for active, and R is for relevant. I think they've done this one before. This seems so familiar. So you want to be specific. Just say, I want to finish a charity 5K this spring, so I'm going to walk the loop around the park on Tuesdays and Saturdays. I want to buy new shorts this this summer. Um, I My plan for this past summer was I was going to buy new shorts. And uh, fortunately or unfortunately, any way you want to look at it, the shorts from the previous season still fit. Um, but that wasn't my goal for that year. My goal was for them to be too big but they fit. So next year, I want them to be too big. So my specific goal is to think about buying a new summer wardrobe. What can you do to get closer to your goal? Define what it is and how you'll do it and if anyone else is involved. It's all on me. I make the choices. I'm the one that decides whether or not I'm going to have an extra helping of food. If I'm going to stop at the donuts when I'm grocery shopping, because the bakery now they have the single donuts out again. Um... I make the decision. Nobody makes the decision for me. Uh, we can make a decision that we're going to go to a restaurant that probably doesn't have the healthiest choices, but that doesn't mean that there's nothing on that menu that I can't pick that's going to be a little bit on the healthy side. I don't have to go for the way end of the, the worst end of the menu. I can try to find something. And most restaurants really will kind of accommodate you. They really will. And the T is for keeping it truly doable. I love sleeping on weekends, so I'll walk on Saturday afternoons. Is this task realistic? What can you do to set yourself up for success? I, Like I said, I love to go for a walk in the morning. That's the way I love to start my day off. But I, I don't have very good balance lately, and uh, I'm just afraid that I'll fall on the ice. And I've, I've heard so many of my subscribers have fallen or um, slipped on the ice and hurt their back or hurt their knee or, you know, like broke a, broke a bone. And... Uh, I don't want that to happen to me. So um, I'm going to be realistic and say that I'm going to pick a YouTube video and do exercise as much. I don't consider walking outside exercise, although I know it is. But uh, I have tried the Susie. No, not Susie. Is it Susie Sand? Leslie Sansone. I've tried her videos. That's not walking. I know they're called walking videos, but to me, that's exercise. I prefer to do like Richard Simmons. I have a DVD of Richard Simmons, so I might just do that, dancing to the oldies. I'm not a very good dancer. doesn't stop me from dancing, so uh, I get some exercise in at the same time, enjoy some music. What more can I ask for? And I think that's a realistic goal, just to say that I'm going to set aside 15 minutes. Um, when I walk, I usually walk for 45 I know they say you should get 30 minutes of exercise, so maybe I can break it down into two 15-minute uh, intervals. Um, I'm not going to jump into it the first day doing 30 minutes, but I'd like to work my way up to 30 minutes, and I think that's truly doable. And um, stay in active mode. I like catching up on my podcast on Saturday mornings. Instead of skipping out on my walk, I'll listen as I go. 
I love to listen to music. I don't like, I know I, I fall behind on my videos, but I like to sit and watch my videos because I feel like we're talking to each other and I can see you. And I'm sorry, but I'm getting a phone call now. I'm, I apologize. Sorry about that. Um, anyway, uh, like I said, it was, we're talking about catching up on podcasts on Saturday mornings. I like to watch my YouTube videos because I feel like we're talking to each other. But uh, I love to listen to music. And so I have like different tracks and it depends on how long I intend on walking and which track I'm going to be listening to. And uh, it really helps my walk go by a little bit faster. And I get to hear my songs that I like. Um, the last thing they tell you to do is make it relevant. Participating in a 5K is a great way to support a cause that's special to me and stay active. Is your goal something you want to do, not what you think you should do? It's something meaningful. It'll be a more powerful force in your life. I am never going to run in a 5K. I, I know this for a fact. So that wouldn't be a realistic or a relevant goal for me. Um, a relevant goal for me right now is to pay attention to what I'm eating, eat healthy, get as much exercise in as I can, and uh, not to set unrealistic goals. My goal is to lose a little bit of weight uh, each week, uh, stay the same if I need to, but not have any gains because um, I just... I'm, I'm tired of having gains. I gained 7.4 7 pounds in the last five, six weeks, seven weeks maybe, six weeks. No, that's not the, that's not the goal I want to achieve. I want to achieve losing 7.4 pounds in six weeks, although that's not my goal. I'm just like, I'm not setting that number as a goal. I'm just setting it as a, as a prospect, I guess. Uh, to dive a little deeper, New Year's resolutions can bring excitement, but that energy can quickly disappear if those resolutions don't resonate personally, are too vague, or you haven't mapped out how to make them a reality. That's why the STAR method is such a window that drives you to create a fully equipped plan that helps you make a, your goal a reality. To get the confidence boost you get from accomplishing a goal means you're more likely to stick with the healthy behaviors that got you there. The fact that I've been on Weight Watchers for five years uh, is the confidence that I need to know that I've, at one point I was at 95.2 pounds lost. Uh, I'm a ways off from that. I am a ways off from that. But my goal is this year just to slowly get back there again. And I will get back there again. And I have the confidence in myself to know that I can make smart choices and that, uh, that I will do it. I'm very, my word of the year is hopeful. I'm very hopeful that I'm going to do this this time. Um, I'm tired of just jerking around. I'm tired of it. I'm just tired of it. I want to reach my goals. And that's not to say that once I reach my goal, it's going to be all easy peasy, breezy, cheesy, all that, all that good stuff. It's not. I proved that during the holidays. I went back to my old way of eating. I have to realize that I cannot go back to my old way of eating. I can still have holiday indulgences, but uh, not as an, an excess like I did. And I'm, I'm paying the price for it right now with a seven, pi seven pound goal, uh, weight gain rather, and not feeling well because I truly in my heart believe that if I would have been eating healthy for the past seven weeks, I wouldn't be sick right now. Not that I feel sick, but you know what I mean. So um, our recipe of the week is something I'm definitely not going to try because it's too many points for me. It's an avocado banana bread. Uh, on my plan, it's seven points. Uh, that seems like a lot for a, like a snack. But it's got cooking spray, white whole wheat flour. I noticed that they use regular sugar in a lot of the recipes. I know I could cut it back by using like a substitute sugar. Um, but um, no, it's just baking powder, baking soda, table salt, bananas, fat-free Greek yogurt, vanilla extract, and eggs. And the avocado. So um, the avocado is the highest is eight points, but that's a healthy fat. I think a lot of times we forget that we just look at how many points it is and just think, oh, I got to back away from that. But you do need healthy fats in your system, in your in your diet, and uh, so just try to figure it into your plan. That's all you can do. Maybe eat half of an avocado so for four points, but uh, you can do it. You do you, I know, but uh, we can do it. So. Um, we're going to set ourselves up for success for 2022. It's going to be a better year all the way around. Everything's going to be better about it. I have full faith that it will be. So um, I'm wondering how you guys did this week. How, how are you starting off your new year? Have you lost weight starting off the new year? Because this is a great way to see on my calendar the first day, the first Monday in, a, in the new year to see a loss. So I want to strive to continue for the rest of the year. Not being unrealistic because there are going to be weeks that I'm going to have a gain. I understand that. But uh, try my very best 
And I'm very hopeful that I can continue on, at least for the month of January, having a loss every week, no matter how small. So um, I'm just curious what you do to stay on track, what you do to, what's your star method? So if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, leave a comment, hit the like button, share if you think somebody might like to see it. As always, stay safe, and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. No, I won't talk to you tomorrow. I will talk to you on my daily vlog today, or I will talk to you again next week for our meeting highlights. So once again, um, I lost 2.8, eh, 68 pounds total. For I'm, I'm happy with that. So I'll talk to you guys soon.